If you're passionate about crochet and dreaming of turning that passion into a business, you're in the right place. In today's video, we're going to break down everything you need to know to start your very own crochet business, from honing your skills to making your first sale. Let's discuss the steps. First step, learn the essential skills. First things first, if you want to sell crochet products, your skills need to be on point. You might already know the basics, but take time to refine those skills. Practice different techniques, experiment with new patterns, and don't be afraid to challenge yourself. If you need extra help, there are plenty of online courses and tutorials that can take your crochet game to the next level. Step 2. Identify your target customers. Next, let's talk about your customers. Who's going to buy your crochet products? Identifying your target audience is crucial. Are you aiming for young moms who love baby clothes? Maybe it's eco-conscious shoppers looking for sustainable, handmade goods. Understanding who your customers are will guide your product designs, marketing, and even pricing. Step 3. Create your product line. Now that you know who you're selling to, it's time to create your product line. Start by selecting the types of products you want to offer. Will it be cozy blankets, stylish hats, or perhaps chic home decor? Once you've made that decision, you'll need to source high-quality materials and supplies. Look for durable, soft yarns and consider eco-friendly options if that's important to your brand. Now, here's where you can really set yourself apart. Create unique designs that reflect your personal style. Whether it's intricate patterns, bold colors, or minimalist aesthetics, make sure your designs stand out. Step 4. Pricing your crochet. Let's talk money. Pricing your products can be tricky. You need to cover the cost of materials and your time while still being competitive. Research what similar products are selling for, but don't undersell yourself. Remember, people are paying for handmade, high-quality items, so make sure your prices reflect that. Visit online marketplaces or e-commerce stores to check the pricing of crochet. Step 5. Business name and branding. Your business name and branding are your first impression, so make it count. Choose a name that's catchy, memorable, and reflects your product line. Then, create a brand identity. This includes your logo, color scheme, and overall vibe. Your branding should tell the story of your business and attract the right customers. Step 6. Set up your online store. With your products ready and your brand in place, it's time to set up your online store. You can use platforms like Etsy, Shopify, or even your own website to showcase your products. Make sure your store is easy to navigate and visually appealing. High quality photos and detailed descriptions are key to attracting customers. Step seven, marketing and sales. Now, it's time to get the word out. Marketing is essential to growing your crochet business. Start by using social media platforms like Instagram and Pinterest to share your products and engage with your audience. You can also create content like blog posts or YouTube tutorials that showcases your expertise and drives traffic to your store. Don't forget about email marketing. Building an email list allows you to keep your customers updated on new products and special offers. Purchase supplies for making crochet. Once you've decided on the products you want to offer, finally purchase your supplies and start creating crochet. High quality materials are key to making products that not only look great, but also stand the test of time. If you're not sure where to start, check out to purchase your supplies online from Amazon. Starting a crochet business is an exciting journey, and with the right skills, planning, and passion, you can turn your hobby into a thriving business. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching.